Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to Learn and Share. We're doing problem solving for ages 9 to 10. Problem 2. Peter bought f three chairs for $900 and Mary bought the same number of chairs for $600. How much more money is paid by Peter for each chair? Do you want to try it yourself? Feel free to pause the video to try it yourself. Do you want to see how I solved it? I solved it in a step-by-step -step way. Let's see it. For this question, I'm going to use model drawing. Let's take a quick recap first. We use rectangles to show the main idea. These can represent the given quantities, the quantities missing, and the more quantities needed. We represent the quantities missing with a question mark. These can be used for addition, subtraction, multiplication, and even division. So Peter bought three chairs for $900 and Mary bought the same number of chairs for $600. So here is Peter and here is Mary. I'm representing Peter's chairs with these three boxes. Each of them is for one chair, and then they make three chairs. It's for $900. And here is Mary's three boxes too. Each for one chair, which makes three chairs, and total is for $600. How much more money is paid by Peter for each chair. So here's our plan. Step one, find the cost of one chair bought by Peter. Step two, find the cost of one chair bought by Mary. Step three, find the difference of cost between Peter's chair and Mary's chair. So step one, find the cost of one chair bought by Peter. We can all see here that for three chairs, Peter paid $900 in all. So now we have to divide 900 into three equal parts. We know that if we have to divide nine into three equal parts, then each part will be equal to three. In the same way, if 900 has to be divided into three parts, then each part will be 300. So, one chair for Peter equals to 300. So Peter paid $300 for each chair. Step two, find the cost of one chair bought by Mary. So Mary paid $600 for three chairs. Now we have to divide 600 into three equal parts. We know if we have to divide six into three equal parts, then each part will be equal to two. In the same way, if 600 has to be divided into three equal parts, then each part will be 200. So Mary paid $200 for each chair. Step three, find the difference of cost of Peter's chair and Mary's chair. So, 
Peter paid $300 for each chair, and Mary paid $200 for each chair. Peter paid $300 minus $200 equals to $100 more for each chair. Yay, we solved the problem. Coming up is the fun part, and that is make your own word problem. Here is a tip. You can use the same word problem and choose and change the numbers and objects in blue to make a new word problem. Here's an example. Sue bought eight notebooks for $40 and Gary bought the same number of notebooks for $56. How much more money is paid by Gary for each notebook? See how simple it is to make your own word problems? For more word problems, click the link in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. See you. Bye.